actually takes a lot for my 18-year-old son to notice when I bring home a new car. But as soon as I walked through the front door, he said, is that the new Jeep? Yes, this is what happens when you drive the new 2018 Jeep Wrangler. Redesigning the Wrangler is a delicate job. There's a history to honor and a loyal owner based respect. And it's been a while. The last model was introduced in 2006. From the outside, it sure seems like Chrysler understood what it had to do. Don't change the silhouette and make improvements throughout. Judging by the four-door Wrangler Unlimited Sahara that we recently purchased, Jeep seems to have successfully performed that feat. We've driven the new one. The common theme that I kept hearing was, it's better than the old one, but still retains a rustic charm. Because it's designed to climb boulders, expectations for the Wrangler's on-road performance are not high. While its handling is improved with quicker steering, it's still no match for a modern SUV in terms of agility. Jeep offers a selectable full-time four-wheel drive system, the Wrangler's first, but only in the Sahara trip. The advantage is that it can stay engaged indefinitely, eliminating the need for drivers to make a decision as to when to engage or disengage four-wheel drive. The ride is stiff, with bumps coming through. Constant short motions make the Jeep jittery, even on smooth roads. On the highway, the Wrangler is clearly out of its element. Quite simply, the wind noise can be overwhelming, which is really tough to carry on a natural volume conversation. The 285 horsepower 3.6 liter V6 engine in our Jeep teams smartly with an 8-speed automatic transmission, making for a smooth, refined speed buildup and a prompt throttle response. Once inside, the new digital screens, accent trim, and modern features give the Wrangler a decidedly modern feel. There are nice touches, such as the gear selector with a red trigger release and a classic Jeep on the top. Not all is wonderful, though. The center position window switches are a pain, require some mental reprogramming, and they're a bit of a stretch for the driver to reach. We like the push buttons for common functions, like adjusting the heater or turning on the heated steering wheel. And yes, that's how coddling the Wrangler has become. The seats are wide, accommodating, and spongy. Their initial appeal can wear thin as support fades on long drives. There's adequate cargo space in back, but getting to it is a two-step process with the side hinge gate and the glass hatch. The Wrangler does not have many advanced safety features. High trim models offer helpful driver aids, including blind spot monitoring, rear cross traffic alert, and a rear view camera with dynamic guidelines. However, forward collision warning and automatic emergency braking are not offered for 2018, which is kind of surprising for a vehicle that can top $50,000. So it's fairly clear that the new Wrangler isn't the easiest vehicle to live with. For those seeking a refined SUV, well, you'll have to look elsewhere. For those buyers who have owned a Jeep or always dreamed of one, the redesigned Wrangler has fewer trade-offs and more appeal than it ever had before, all without compromising its character or off-road credentials. Stay tuned as we add the break-in miles and begin our formal testing. For more on SUVs, check out consumerreports.org.